Kill it. Oh you shit! Know, right. <laughs> Holy shit, this damage. My recent build for Razorback at level 40 raid after Warlords of New York update. Specialization weapons aren't good for it anymore. For example, you can't destroy Razorback in one or two, fa two phases at all with TAC 50, because all specialization weapons damage to and the named enemies got nerfed. Crit builds are still a way to do it fast, at the moment rifle seems the best way. How meta about creating builds for Razorback is still the same, so you want uh, high weapon damage, critical hit chance, critical hit damage, and damage to health. Some of named, it some of name named items gives extra attributes like, uh, for example, damage to targets out of cover as well that I'm not sure if it applies to Razorback, but probably is, as it's only a vehicle standing in the middle of an area. Let's take a quick look at my build. Uh, it's Free Piece Providence, uh, which gives 10% critical hit chance and 15% critical hit damage as a bonus uh, from gear set. <coughs> there goes Seska uh, Viroba uh, holster, for 10% critical hit chance and Overlord Nippets for 10% rifle damage. Mm. As a talent for a vest, I'm using uh, Pro Perfect Glass Cannon, which uh, is a named item, named Providence item called the Sacrifice. It drops only in light zone, so pretty much uh, any activity. Uh, any open world activity like control points, missions, uh, this item doesn't drop in dark zone. Uh, of course I, I might look for a better roles, like I would prefer mm, have it like maximum weapon damage or maximum crit chance or crit damage. Uh, <clears throat> Perfect glass cannon. Amplif uh, all the damage you deal is amplified by 30%, all damage you take is amplified by 60%. Uh, there is also like a normal version of this talent, which has different numbers. The the normal glass cannon, the, the damage amplified is by 25% and all damage you take is amplified by 50%. Uh, for Backpack. Uh, at the moment, I'm using uh, also the named item. It's also Providence, and it's called the Gift. This one you can drop only in Dark Zone. Uh, it has perfect vigilance, increases total weapon damage by 25%. Taking damage disable this buff for three seconds. Uh, the normal vigilance has the same weapon damage. Uh, just the buff is disabled for 4 seconds, so it doesn't really matter if you have vigi perfect vigilance or normal vigilance. Uh, eventually, because it is based on, like, if you take damage, so if you don't have this talent or you prefer, like, more stable damage in case some drones shoot you or enemies, uh, I would I would advise to use Composure, which, is, uh, which gives you 10% uh, more weapon, I mean 15% weapon damage while staying in the cover, so it's only like 10% difference to compare with Vigilance, but uh, it doesn't matter if you're getting hit or not, you're still having, you, you will still have this 15%. Of course like all rolls of on my gears are only weapon damage, crit damage, uh, I would like to have like crit chance, uh, that's why I'm not using this backpack at the moment as well, because it's a catch of damage and I'm gonna miss on crit chance. Mm, gloves, weapon damage, crit damage and crit chance as well. Mm, mask, it's a named item called the Hollow Man. Uh, it's a mask from Yalgir, which you can drop only in Dark Zone. 
it has a signature attribute damage to health 21% it will be always 21% on this mask you need only look for bet for the mask with better roll uh, it is possible to uh, to drop this mask with two red attributes as you can see I, ha I have the one with damage to health and headshot damage I believe that you will be able to drop one with crit chance or crit damage here instead of the headshot damage. Uh, this mask is a one which has core attribute. Its core attribute is always blue, so that's the the only exception. So it it always drop like blue plus red, yellow, red, blue, or two reds. So you need to have here two reds and roll blue to weapon damage uh, mask vest and backpack all have offensive mod slots so I put their critical hit damage unless you miss on a crit chance which you want to have like 60% or close to 60% to crit uh, often uh, so it's it depends on your roles as it was uh, about nippets, I'm using Overlord nippets for 10% rifle damage. It's also a named item called Fox's Prayer, which has a signature attribute, damage to target out of cover. It will be also always 15%. You just need to look for a better roll, preferably with max weapon damage or here maybe max crit chance, max crit damage, so we can push it to maximum with three god rolls. Those snippets also drop only in light zone, it doesn't drop in dark zone. Uh, for holster I'm using Seska Vero by the moment, it's cause it gives me 10% critical hit chance and I need high critical hit chance to uh, hit hard with critical hit damage pretty often. If you're good with critical hit chance in your build then as a replacement, you could eventually use the Grupo Sombra holster for 15% more critical hit damage, but it's all, of course, depends on your stats, on your gear. Uh, as it is about guns, hmm, I have, uh, I think, two options at the moment. It's either it's either classic M1A, which has pretty high damage per shot. Uh, it has 180 RPM. Um, I have one at the moment with Ranger, so it gives extra weapon damage by 2% for every 5 meters you are away from target. So I suppose depends on your position. You can get up to like 6 extra percent rifle damage uh, when you're hitting Razorback. Uh, and you need, to, of course, to look for a good roll, like uh, with high crit damage, uh, maybe if you're lucky here with crit chance or damage to targets out of cover. Mm, preferably, I would probably use here, instead of Ranger, the Strength, uh, which I have with my MK17. It's uh, another good rifle, I would advise. It has much higher RPM than M1A and much more uh, bullets in magazine as well. Strength, again, 10% critical hit damage for every half second you are firing, stacks up to five times. So uh, while you will be shooting it on Razor, you might get extra 50% critical hit damage just from this extra talent. So it seems uh, best talent for Razor back at the moment. As a mod on my gun, I'm using crit chance mods to, to be fully capped on crit chance. Uh, MK17 to compare with M1A has one extra mod slot, which is muzzle break. So with MK7 key, MK17 on uh, my recent build, I can be capped at 60%. With M1A, I'm at something like 56% crit chance. Uh, magazine, pretty much rounds because you want to shoot as much as many bullets as you can before Razorback will close. Mm, it's the first gun I'm using at the moment Bullet King because uh, I was pretty lucky to get it and it has many like it uh, you don't need to reload 
For every 100 bullets that hit an enemy, replenish some ammo that, to you and your allies. Reserve, so pretty much you can just shoot to, without stopping uh, uh, as, uh, as far as you hit enemies. It re replenishes your magazine, you don't need to restock it. Mm, I'm gonna test now DPS of it. <clears throat> I'm gonna set my shooting range to name the enemies. It's MK17 at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show stats real quick as well. Mm. Okay, so stats for classic M1A on my recent build is uh, 56.5 critical hitches at the moment, 135.3 critical hit damage, 21% mm, health damage and 78.3 all weapon damage uh, I'm gonna switch to military MK17 now uh, all weapon damage of course it's of course same same for the health damage it changes for critical hit chance for MK17 just due to this one extra critical hit chance mod on gun it's fully capped mm, okay I'm gonna test M1A rifle first doing body shots because Razorback uh, headshots doesn't affect razor head, Razorback. You can see here on the chat as well the orange numbers are crit hits. So it's like critical hit damage to the orange stat and how often it happens. It's pretty much RNG but with 60% crit chance it should happen pretty often. So it's most of the times it's some somewhere around like 2.3 million crit chance. Sometimes it's a bit higher. Uh, I'm gonna switch to MK17 now. Stacks on the right of the rifle, it's 5 at the moment. And it uh, it refreshes when you stop firing, so you need to fire like every half second it refreshes. If you stop firing, it goes to zero. So with 40 bullets in magazine, it should do. Yeah, you can see like it bumps your critical hit, critical hit damage. It's 1.4 million, 1.5 million, 1.9 million, so it goes up. Also be sure to check for your extra 15% weapon damage bands based on gun type in specialization weapons menu near Quartermaster, quartermaster in White House. You can decide who, which guns you want to use it with. So for me it's like 15% rifle damage, assault rifle damage, light machine gun. Be, be sure to to check it because it's always like more more damage that you need. Also, the other thing is uh, mod. So the maximum uh, the god roll mod for critical hit damage is 12%. The god roll mod for critical hit chance is 6%. Mm, so we need to look for better mods as well and also about the crit and crit damage because it's like a new thing they added in this update there's it uh, depends on your shade tech uh, what I was doing I was investing shade tech points to critical hit chance so just from just from like uh, investing points in critical hit chance in shade tech level you can gain extra 10% just from it 